video, I'll be going over my top couple tips to achieve a small waist. Yes, I have made many videos kind of on this topic before, doing small waist workouts, showing you guys how to do vacuums, but I keep getting questions on this topic. I keep getting DMs. I keep getting so many questions, so many comments, how to get a small waist. And I feel like I just have to keep making these videos and kind of telling you guys what my methods are and how I do it. I'm basically gonna summarize this video for you today. Number one tip is you have to eat clean and lower your body fat percentage, and I'll go over the details of how you can do that. Second tip is vacuums, which I'm gonna show you how to do. And third tip is talking about different ab exercises and whether they're effective or not in giving you a small waist. Before we go into this video, don't forget to Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and you like what you're hearing. Um, subscribe to my channel and turn on the little bell so you get notified of my videos so you never miss a post. YouTube doesn't notify you of my videos unless you click that bell, so make sure you do it. And I have my apartment tour live on my vlog channel along with Vlogmas, which will be starting tomorrow. Oh my god, Vlogmas is tomorrow! Make sure you're subscribed to my vlog channel too because it's going to be so much fun doing vlogmas and all that good stuff. So let's just go ahead and get right into what this video is about, which is that waist baby. So number one tip is, and I know you're not going to want to hear this, but you absolutely have to eat clean and lower your body fat percentage. So no matter how many exercises you do or vacuum you do, if you have a layer of fat or if you tend to store fat in your belly, you are not going to see a smaller waist because you can have a super toned, nice, lean stomach underneath your layers of fat, but no one's going to see it. Obviously, you try to eat wholesome foods that are full of nutrients that help you feel more full. If you have an issue with snacking on things, that is a very bad habit that you need to cut out. Highly suggest trying to keep track of your caloric intake with apps like MyFitnessPal. Many times, you don't even know that you're overeating. Um, and actually many times you don't even know that you're under eating. You'd be surprised at how many people think they're overeating and they're actually not eating enough, which can be super counterproductive and actually cause your body to store fat at a faster rate. Instead of snacking on junk, try to opt in for a protein shake or a protein bar. My favorite protein shake is from Woman's Best. I use the ISO Way one and this one is especially good if you're trying to tone up and really lean out and kind of keep your body fat to a minimum is a higher concentration of protein with less carbs and fats than the regular whey protein and it's very very good and this is very filling so if you know you're hungry you're craving something this is a great great addition a protein shake is going to be better than just a milkshake or just some cookies or whatever it is that you snack on also these protein bars for moments best are freaking godsend so these protein bars are full of protein and fiber which helps you feel really really full they taste so good you feel like you're eating dessert it is so so good if you're trying to slim down while building muscle bcas bcaas bcas are a great way uh to do that because bcas basically feed your muscles and help your muscles rebuild themselves without being super high in calories so it's kind of like an alternative not an alternative, I would say in addition to protein shakes and protein bars, I add BCAs and they help with that a lot. And if you have a problem with overeating, let's say you use my fitness pal to track your calories and you realize your caloric intake is way, way too high, you can try one of women's best meal replacement shakes. They're really, really low in calories and they have a lot of nutrients and things that are necessary for your body. But again, I think you should only use this if you have an issue with overeating, like you're not feeling fulfilled from your meals and you really just feel like hungry at the end of the day even though you have gotten a lot more calories than you need you guys know these women's best products are amazing i do have a 10 percent off code for you guys i'm going to put it up here on screen it gives you 10 percent off your whole order on women's best so make sure you go ahead and take advantage of that and use my code tip number two are vacuums so i have done a lot of videos on vacuums before but i will kind of go over them again and how you should do them vacuums have literally been proven to work for decades bodybuilders have been doing them forever to really help cinch their waist when you're doing a vacuum you're basically working out your transverse abdominis which is the muscle kind of that acts as your body's natural corset and holds everything in for you together. So I'll kind of go over how to do them for you guys really, really quick. So in vacuums, the whole point is to basically try to bring your belly button up to your spine or back to your spine. So you're going to take a deep breath in and as you breathe out, bring the belly button in to your spine. So while you're here, I feel like a lot of people get this confused. I'm still talking and I'm still breathing, but I'm squeezing this muscle. Now it does take a while to master, you have to give it a few tries, try different things, 
but you should feel all these muscles tensing. So if you get your two fingers and you place it right here, the part between kind of like your legs and your pelvis right here, you should feel that muscle super, super, duper tense. And now let go, you can feel that muscle kind of loosen. So try it yourself, get your two fingers, put it right here, right here basically, and breathe in and squeeze. And you can feel that muscle tense and I can feel basically my muscles kind of vibrating a little, like they're shaking from how hard I'm holding it. And the whole point is to kind of hold this for 20 to 30 seconds at a time. It's hard, it's not supposed to be easy. Like this is hard work right now. Hopefully I kind of helped clarify how to do a vacuum. I do have more videos that are really in depth on how to do it, like a whole video just based on the vacuum. But vacuums, they're supposed to hurt. It's supposed to be hard. You can make, you can make your muscles very sore if you do it a lot. The reason I say that they're easy is because you can do it while you're driving somewhere, you can do it while you're brushing your teeth, you can do it in bed. It really doesn't require a lot of effort to start doing it. Um, and the more you practice doing it, the better you'll get at it, the more it becomes part of your routine, the faster you'll get a smaller waist and it will really, really help you get a smaller waist. It is the only exercise that can actually help you cinch your waist. This leads us to point number three, which is avoid all weights when doing ab workouts. You guys see I do a lot of ab workouts on this channel and I label a lot of them as waist workouts. And while vacuums are the only exercise that can actually help you cinch your waist, other ab exercises are important in giving you kind of, first of all, a stronger core, which is important for your health and your body in general, but also it gives you a nice shape to your waist. Like, you know, the lines you get down the middle, like that just makes your whole waistline look so much better. And that is all ab exercises right there. But I never, ever, ever use weights with my ab exercises. Weights will help you build up muscle, which is why we use weights when we're trying to build up our booties. But if you don't want to make your obliques or your waistline wider or larger, you want to avoid weights on doing exercises. I've seen a lot of people using weight to do ab exercises, like they'll use the medicine ball and stuff. That will cause you to build muscle, and if that's your goal, that's fine. But if your goal is to really minimize your waistline, I would stick to vacuums and kind of body weight ab exercises. If you are someone who tends to gain muscle very fast or you used to be an athlete and you have a lot of muscle memory, you might want to try to stay away from doing ab exercises even with body weight very often. For example, the only times I do ab exercises is when I'm filming them for you guys because I used to be a dancer and I used to have a lot more muscle around my waist and I have so much muscle memory that just doing some body weight exercises can like, kind of like give it that blockier appearance if you know what I mean I would say just keep it to a minimum like once a week max just to kind of you know keep it all tight and maintained and the most important thing is cardio really which is kind of what I went over with in the first point that you have to lose fat and that's all cardio and high intensity interval training that will help you really cinch your waist and show what's underneath it so yeah I think that it's pretty much it all I can think of my top Tips to getting a smaller waist, there are a lot of misconceptions, a lot of, I think, false information online when it comes to doing this. Like I said, the only exercise that actually helps you cinch your waist is vacuums. The other exercises are still important, especially if you want to get abs and you want to get, you know, the line that goes down the middle and just kind of like a nicer looking midsection in general. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know if you have any questions below. I would love to hear your comments and your feedback and give me any ideas you'd like for me to make videos on. I would love, love to hear them. Uh, yeah, I will see you all next time.